Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I'm excited. I got some new cookware coming today that I ordered and it just got here. So um, I'm really excited to crack it open and uh, take a look. It took me a while um, to pick this stuff out, but stick with me. I'll show you uh, why I picked what I did. So I did a, a ton of searching. I was trying to find really, you know, just the right cookware for me. Um, let me show you what I've been working with. When it comes to boiling water, I've been using this Stanley uh, little bush pot. It's, um, looks like a 650 milliliter, I think, because right here is 591 milliliters. 20 ounces so maybe it's like 32 ounces if I fill the whole thing not really sure it's weird measurements but and that came with um, two of these plastic cups that nest down inside it I mean this this whole thing it's it's only nine bucks it's stainless steel um, and I'm not gonna say there's anything bad about it because and honestly I really like these cups they're um, they're really thick plastic um, so they keep your coffee warm. So I actually like these, but I only generally take one with me because, um, I just don't need a second cup. Plus my mess kit, uh, like the, the little mess kit that I have has these little plastic cups. And the only reason I even bring one of these is because this is an actual measuring cup. It even has, well, this, the newer one that I got actually has the measurement marks i'm sure you won't be able to see it but anyway it does have a quarter half and three quarters in one cup markings so that's can be convenient um, and it's not like it really weighs anything so i just leave it inside there the one thing i don't like about this little pot is this one little plastic piece if this pot did not have this little plastic piece I wouldn't mind it. I, I'd probably still be using it. Um, this handle's kind of long enough. You know, I haven't had too many problems with, like, burning my hand or, you know, when it's sitting on the fire. It's just I constantly have to keep an eye on it. Because if, uh, actually, my buddy, when we did that week-long trip, oh, <laughs> when I did the week-long trip and he, and he spent a night there, um, he had the same pot and he didn't watch his... And this little piece of plastic melted down and melted the lid onto his little bush pot. So he couldn't get the lid off when it cooled. And then for uh, general cooking, I had a regular mess kit. I like the plate because you can it can double as a frying pan. I, this, I think, is just under 7 inches around. This fry pan, nice long handle. The only problem is um, uh, you have some issues with sticking. You know, pancakes, eggs would be a little tough in here without oil or butter or something. Um, and then it also comes with this beautiful small little bush pot, right? All stainless, except this stupid thing only holds three cups of water. It's like five inches, three cups of water. What? You could barely even fit a can of Campbell's soup in there. Completely worthless, in my opinion. And every mess kit seems to come with these. Except for um, one of the ones I was looking at, actually Coleman makes one with a decent size 7 inch by like 3 inch um, pot. And then the frying pan actually goes on top of that pot. And now it comes with a plastic bowl and a plastic cup, but you get a nice seven inch fry pan in that one and you get the, the larger pot. Now I almost bought that one. I really did because all I really needed was a good fry pan and a large enough pot that nested together. Um, and that almost suited my needs, except I didn't want, 
I don't know, I didn't want to buy just another basic mess kit and still have a mediocre fry pan um, and a mediocre pot. Now, there's a lot of, uh, you know, great bush pots out there that would come with little skillets or fry pans on top, but they were only like five, five and a half inches because the bush pots are five inches by five inches by five inches. And so, again, you would get a great bush pot with a crappy fry pan. Well, not that it's crap, but, you know, it's not even, you know, it's not big enough for me and for what I wanted to do. So, that's what I've been working with. I was getting by with it, but I wanted to get rid of this, get a real pot, get rid of this for a real pot. And I also wanted to still be able to utilize these if I wanted to. So let me show you what I got here. And I think I got a, I think this is a really good value for what you get, even though I don't plan on taking all of it camping. This is uh, a tech, tech sport seven piece kangaroo cook set. As you can see, you get three pots, three fry pans and a pot gripper and a bag supposedly like a mesh bag for them to come in um the thing is though some of these are pretty large let me set you down i'll see what we got going on in here okay so i got my bag it did come with the mesh bag Now see that's that's quite large. Now this whole set, all six, only weighs three pounds, but they're just it's more than I need. And I think if I got rid of oh cool, they got them all individually packaged. See, this is the, the largest lid slash fry pan. Um but yeah, they got the nice Teflon coating. But yeah, I think if I if I just bring the two smaller set uh, size pieces, and I'll leave, you know, the, these two largest ones at home, that'll probably get rid of most of the weight. Yeah, see, now that's not really too heavy. If I... I think of the weight of all these three combined. I mean, that's only slightly larger, and I could do a lot more with this. Oh, this little pan is so cute. <laughs> that's pretty tiny. So let's see here. So we got a, a six inch, I know that's upside down for you, but so just over, eh, just over six inches for the smallest one. This one is really the size that I wanted. Just over seven inches, seven and a half inches. And that's what I wanted for my pot as well. Oh, there's the dripper. So now this is the uh, smallest saucepan. Now this would actually be all I would really need for a boiling pot out there. Unless I was cooking for more than one person. But yeah, if I were to take... If I take just this medium set... That is very light. That's probably less than a pound. If I really wanted to go like super light, I could bring just the smallest one. So there, 
I got a new... Now, I also have another item that I ordered. And I'm going to show you that next. But that's going to go underneath here. And obviously, they have no handles. You're supposed to use this. Pot gripper. So yeah, I guess once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. That'll keep me out of the fire enough. Let's check out this frying pan. It's pretty light. It should be pretty light because it's titanium. All right, that's going to make for some nice pancakes and eggs. This is um, titanium pan. I believe it weighs nine ounces, and it has the ceramic coating on it. Um, that is very slick. That should be really great for pancakes, eggs. You can see it's really shallow, but that's why I have the other fry pans for if I'm cooking something where I need some depth to the pan. This is more just like a, you know, for eggs, pancakes, things like that. So let's see how we could put all this together into uh, one nice, compact, well-designed med, uh, <laughs> well-designed cooking kit. I think it's kind of ironic that on the same day I got all my cooking pans and utensils, these um, little cooking stoves that I ordered months ago, final, well, about a month ago, finally got here. It all folds up and fits into this tiny little um, notebook sized heavy duty canvas bag. Um, you could, this is like the perfect size if you wanted to cook a couple hamburgers or, um, nice juicy steak, or, you know, you could put a, a skillet on there or a pot and you just, you know, lift this off, fill it with some coals or start a little fire in there. Then you put your, set your grate on, and you're grilling. No more having to cook uh, steaks in a fry pan out there. Anything that you could do on a barbecue now, you can very easily do um, at your camp. Except now, you don't need to worry about uneven fire because you just, you know, you can regulate it in there. And I'll show you, uh, show you how easy this is to set up and take down. And this really is pretty heavy, a heavy duty pouch. I like this. This is nice. Um, I bought these because I'm going to be selling these. So if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description and you can contact me and let me know. Right now I don't have a website, but soon. So this is what I think I'm going to bring as my um personal cook kit if it's just me and just to give you an idea here it is five inches tall and at the widest point seven inches 
Yeah, because this top pan is the widest pan, so seven inches wide total. I did forget to throw these in. Um, this is my titanium foon and spork in the uh, pot holder. But I'll show you what I got in there. And, and the cup will also be a part of that basic kit, but it won't. I mean, I could put it in this webbing if I chose to. Just like that. And that won't fall out or anything, but... I have other plans for that. Okay, so I have the one aluminum frying pan. That's the medium size aluminum frying pan. And I have, it just so happens, my, the stainless steel bowl from my stainless steel mess kit fits perfectly on the smallest size pot. And in there I have some ramen noodles, a couple dehydrated meals, so I could fit some food in there as well. I mean, if I wanted, I could fit the cup in there. My utensils. And that fork is a tight fit, but I can get it in there. But no need. That'll be fine like that. So I have the smallest pot, but honestly, I don't think I would need a larger pot than that. If it's just me. If I was cooking for two, yeah, you know, maybe a larger pot, but um, that's plenty good for me. And so I have the small pot, the medium fry pan, my bowl, and my titanium skillet just kind of sits underneath everything. The only thing is that I realized this elastic strap, the smallest pot only has one of these, where the largest pot has one on the opposite side, so you can hook this elastic strap on both sides and strap everything together. So, I may not be able to use this, I might have to devise a new system, but that's okay. I got elastic, I got all kinds of different ways I could do this. But... Yeah, I think that would give me plenty of cooking options. And honestly, even this skillet is optional. Um, you know, a frying pan, a pot, and a plate, utensil, and a cup. That should be all I really need. This is, and depending on what I'm cooking, I could bring my skillet. But yeah, that's all I need. And, uh... Obviously, I have the rest of the aluminum pots, and the more people, you know, I'm going to have with me, the more cookware I could bring. 